Fire breathing and limbo dancing has been a part of our tourism industry from as early as the 1950s, starting with Trevor Arthur, passing down to fire entertainers such as Cassius Clay and Edward Sears. They brought the fire to the entertainment industry. Now, no floor show in Barbados is complete without a mother Sally, tuck band, and fire eater. Now, mommy said don't play with fire. You know you could get burned. But tonight, we are taking it outside of the box. I'm Sabrina, your Bajan tourist, and this is Ignite. Ignite is a diverse team of fire practitioners and entertainers performing dangerous and mind-blowing fire displays through the art of fire eating, fire breathing, and various fire tricks using a variety of props. Over 17 combined years of performance experience under their belt, Ignite merges dance, acrobatics, and martial arts with fire to create mesmerizing shows that amaze and astound locals and tourists alike. I'm gonna blame that on COVID. <laughs> we were at home, you know, COVID, no one can be out, adrenaline junkies, and we found fire one evening. After we um, discovered that, you know, we can use our, our code on, that we are brave enough or crazy enough to use fire, we took it to the beach. We practiced in um, St. Thomas, any clear open space was ours. We're using like broomsticks and torches, trying to, you know, get all of the movement happening we learned what fuels to use and what not to use by just pure experimenting and YouTube. Um, the journey has been a good one, a long one, an, inter an interesting one. We have paid for it in, in sweat, tears, <laughs> burns <laughs> here and there. The different type of equipment we use are the staff, double staff, staves, well what we call the staves, if you go looking or researching it would be considered torches. Um, we do poi, we do fire fans. We are looking to add a couple new pieces of equipment but I am not going to say it just yet. I'm going to leave that for those who follow us or who happen to see us while we are performing. Within all of this, um, when we first started, the equipment wasn't nothing near to what we currently have. Um, when we started, well, me personally, I started with a broomstick and some cotton wool on the ends. And everyone was like, this is a horrible idea, but I went with it and it worked. Um, we tried different types of metal, different grade aluminum, all to get the right feel or what we wanted and now we have found that right mixture as well as we are currently using Kevlar which is professional grade for your equipment that is recognized all over the world and all of our equipment was built by myself. Businesses we attract. Um, we attract um, businesses from the small man in the street to the corporate clients. Um, everybody and anybody is a client. Like our goal essentially with Fire Eating is to take it from the exclusivity that it has and bring it back to the locals because we really are about you know enhancing Beijing culture and showing Beijing culture and showcasing how you know strong and powerful we are as Beijings. And you know you shouldn't have to go to a hotel our restaurant to see fire eating although we perform at hotels and restaurants but we want the locals to be able to see it as well too because we really want to showcase our Beijing culture and what we're capable of doing to every person so that could be any person on the street well, sometimes we do pop-ups in random places so that people get to you know like especially during the time of pandemic it kind of brought life to people to to see that you know people doing something and that's our goal to inspire and to do dangerous things and to show that Beijing's are really powerful and will be capable of doing. Okay, so I'm about to learn the art of outing fire. Yeah. One of the very basic fire tricks that we do. Okay, so I won't be burned, I won't no, be please. hurt. No, please. You I'm promise me? I'm gonna show you first, I promise you. Okay. I'm gonna show you first mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna allow you to do it. Okay? okay, sounds good. So, first we're gonna light the flame. Mm-hmm. 
can hold on to me. Sure. And then what we're going to do is set and place it in the middle of our hands and slowly close it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and learning about the art of playing with fire safely. Thank you for watching BT Travel. I'll see you soon.